As reactions continue to trail the scrapping of HND DST disparity in the nation's labor market, stakeholders in the education sector say technical and professional training are panaceas to the lingering unemployment in Nigeria. This came up on the sidelines of a matriculation and convocation of students of joint professionals training and support. Dr. Chris Imumolen says most graduates today need retraining as they do not have the capacity to fit into the working space. He also says every Nigerian has to start thinking of creating jobs for themselves. On his part, CEO of Olusha Guabasanjo Foundation, Olaleko James, says countries like America and other developed countries have excelled because they have embraced entrepreneurship. He also bared his mind on the HND BSC dichotomy. Recently, the Federal Minister of Education is doing a lot to scrapping the HND um, issuance, and they've done so. So that is one way to ensure that um, HNDs are not um, are not issued so because of the discrepancies. It's, it's in the economy. Nothing we can really do to stop it. So I think th that move is very critical. So we now have a standard like the foreign universities who issue associate degree, then immediately bachelor's degree. So that is the system. I think that move is in the right direction. So and the government needs to gear policies that can quickly help people to, 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 to bet their businesses, like bringing up policies like tax waiver, um, setting up companies, and getting loans from financial institutions. These three things will help young entrepreneurs to spring up, and in five years, we we'll we'll have millions of jobs, provided that people are engaging people within their business. And it seems that some of our prosthetic are giving more of the practical work. But I think the new policy said that will not be bachelor technology, which will not be put. So if that's, if that's well done, we're fine, but I'm afraid because the uh, previous policies have not worked out well. But if they do it the right way, then maybe it'll be okay. But the truth is that in some of the big uh, countries, developed countries, we have uh, polytechnics there. So what are we talking about? Why scrapping it if um, you are not able to have something better? Students were also not left out in the discourse as they spoke on issues as it affects them as students. The professional aspect of it uh, 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 exposed us to other aspects that uh, that are not part of the Nigerian curriculum, so that that makes us to be what to be uh, uh, to be qualified when it, when we get to the field and when we talk when we are talking about uh, the area of concentration about education. So that's what I think about the uh, the professional aspect of it. We've been trained on how to speak and how to be self-confident when it comes to education. We are not just all about the certificates. We are well trained. Like when it comes to, uh, we do something in the school. Every semester, you are given opportunity to speak on a particular topic. And I think in most universities in Nigeria, they don't do that. The only thing you do is at the end of your education, maybe at the end of your schooling session, you go for a defense.